deep within the realms of human history, there exists a tapestry of myths, legends, and claims that suggest encounters with beings from the heavens. These accounts have ignited the imaginations of millions and prompted speculation about the possibility of ancient aliens visiting our planet. In this video, we embark on a journey through time and across cultures to explore some of the most intriguing myths and stories that hint at encounters with extraterrestrial entities. We'll also delve into the controversial claims of individuals like Bob Lazer, who has asserted that an alien craft was unearthed in an archaeological dig. The idea that ancient civilizations encountered beings from the cosmos is a core premise of the ancient astronaut hypothesis. This theory suggests that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations have influenced human history and development. Proponents of this hypothesis argue that clues can be found in the myths and legends of various cultures. In ancient Mesopotamia, the birthplace of human civilization, the Sumerians left behind a rich legacy of cuneiform tablets. Some of these tablets contain references to deities known as the Anunnaki, who were believed to descend from the heavens. Zacharia Sitchin, a proponent of the ancient astronaut theory, interpreted these references as evidence of extraterrestrial beings who visited Earth in ancient times. Sitchin proposed that the Anunnaki were extraterrestrial beings from a planet called Nibiru. He argued that these advanced beings visited Earth in the distant past, possibly hundreds of thousands of years ago, and played a pivotal role in shaping human civilization. Sitchin contended that the Anunnaki engaged in genetic engineering, manipulating the DNA of early humans to create a hybrid species that would serve as a labor force. He claimed that this genetic manipulation resulted in Homo sapiens. According to Sitchin, one of the primary reasons for the Anunnaki's visit to Earth was to mine gold, which they needed to repair their planet's deteriorating atmosphere. He suggested that the Anunnaki established mining operations in ancient Mesopotamia and enlisted humans as laborers. He believed that descriptions of flying vehicles and advanced weaponry in ancient texts were evidence of the Anunnaki's technological influence. Mesopotamia was a very pivotal civilization, and many new inventions were made during its existence. Could it be just a coincidence or is it knowledge learned from the Anunnaki? The Anunnaki are said to be the more malevolent alien species and that there are more species of extraterrestrials that exist. I believe that once the other species found out that humans were being used as laborers to dig gold that they forced the Anunnaki to stop. Perhaps they saw humans as lesser beings because we were not very advanced. In India, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana are two ancient Indian epics containing descriptions of flying machines called Vimanas. The descriptions of Vimanas vary in different texts, but they are often depicted as chariots or vehicles that can fly both in the Earth's atmosphere and in outer space. They are said to be equipped with advanced technology, including weaponry and communication systems. The Mahabharata, one of the most extensive and revered epic poems in Hindu literature, contains references to Vimanas. In the Mahabharata, there are accounts of aerial battles involving flying machines, advanced weaponry, and the use of Vimanas by various characters. In the Ramayana the demon king Ravana is said to have possessed a flying chariot called the Pishpaka Vimana, which he used to abduct Sita, the wife of Lord Rama. Beyond the epics, various ancient Indian texts contain references to Vimanas. These descriptions often emphasize the technological sophistication of these flying machines. While mainstream scholars interpret these accounts as symbolic or mythical, some believe they are evidence of advanced technology or extraterrestrial visitations. With so many sources describing the same unheard of technology, it could be more than just symbolic. In the arid plains of Peru, the Nazca lines stretch across the landscape, forming intricate geoglyphs that are only visible from the air. The Nazca lines themselves are a collection of massive geoglyphs, which are intricate designs and shapes etched into the desert surface by removing reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles and revealing the light-colored earth underneath. The purpose and meaning of the Nazca lines remain a subject of debate among archaeologists and researchers. Eric von Daniken, a prominent figure in the ancient astronaut theory, suggests that these massive drawings were created to communicate with extraterrestrial beings. Why else make massive shapes and characters in the sand that you cannot fully see from the ground? What knowledge did these people have about beings that come from the sky? While well, mainstream scholars attribute the lines to ceremonial or cultural purposes, the mystery surrounding their purpose endures. Bob Lazer, a figure in the realm of ufology, claims to have worked on reverse engineering extraterrestrial technology at a secretive government facility known as S4. One of the startling assertions made by Lazer is that one of the alien crafts was uncovered in an archaeological dig. Could it be that a dig took place in Mesopotamia or India or Peru and found one of the craft mentioned in their legends? Bob has also said that he read something in his briefing about aliens genetically engineering humans early on. This could be why the aliens were so involved with humans early on in history as they guided us. The day we have people testifying before Congress on UFOs and reverse engineering projects, which lends further credence to Bob Lazer's claims. Hopefully someday soon we will finally get definitive answers on aliens and maybe they will fill us in on what they were doing in our ancient past. 
the question of whether ancient civilizations encountered extraterrestrial beings remains an enigma. The myths, legends, and claims that pervade our history tantalize us with the possibility of otherworldly visitors. Yet, as we contemplate the mysteries of our past, we must navigate the fine line between wonder and skepticism, striving for a deeper understanding of our world and the cosmos beyond. In the end, the quest for answers continues, inspiring us to explore the realms of myth and reality, seeking the truth that may one day bridge the divide between ancient encounters and modern knowledge. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.